Hello and welcome back. So today we're going through more stuff that has been kindly sent into the PO box. I've got a whole pile of bits and pieces here. Uh, I wasn't able to go down last week and pick anything up, but uh, I'm hoping to be able to pick it all up um, towards the end of this week uh, so that we can have another PO box video for next week because you guys really, really like it and I do get lots of comments if I don't upload a PO box opening. So uh, for those of you that are interested, that is the address of the PO box. This was kindly sent in and I keep it blue tacked to my to my desk. So I've always got it at hand. It's Christopher Klex, PO Box 6996, Basingstoke RG24, 4JF. And as ever, there is no obligation for you to send me coins or anything like that. I'm more than happy just receiving a letter. If you send a self-addressed envelope with a stamp on it, I'll be sure to reply to you. But bear in mind, I am quite slow to reply because I am phenomenally busy at the moment. Uh, but eventually I will reply. Um, also, if you go to the links to write me a letter, feel free to plug your YouTube, your social media, whatever you want to plug. If you go to the links to write me a letter, I'm more than happy to give you a bit of a plug. But without further ado, should we get to this massive one on the bottom? It says, To Christopher, Whilst making one of these, I thought you also might like one for your collection. Keep up the great videos and send me some of that Kew Gardens luck. Four years in and I'm still not found one. Uh, kind regards, Darren Cheshire. Address on the back. Oh wow, look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> I love it. To Christopher Collects, keep up the great videos from Darren. Wow. So it's like, it's a, well, it's a, it's a Peter Rabbit. It looks like it's been cut into the shape of him with a whole load of spaces in it. Wow. That's awesome. And it stands up, I can't really show you. It does stand up as well. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Darren. It's, that's very, very cool. Let me try and put it sideways so you can see the whole thing. How cool is that? You could make a fortune selling these, I'm telling you now. Next up we've got this one, with a cool looking stamp, from the Isle of Man. Wow, I'm very jealous of those of you in the Isle of Man, you've got some very lovely coins. So it says, hi Christopher, uh, have just become interested in collecting coins, have watched some of your YouTube uh, blogs. Uh, I'm interested in the above face value as they're are much more interesting than the everyday coins. Here on the Isle of Man, we don't get a lot of UK coins, even though they are legal tender. Plus, I can only withdraw £50 at a time. I think I'm up to speed with the UK 50p coins, but haven't a clue about the Isle of Man 50ps. Uh, what's above face value, what's collectible. Any pointers in that direction would be fantastic. Keep up the great work. Uh, Robert Owen. P.S. Enclosed some 50ps for you. Oh, I thank you. Well, to be fair, with the territories, um, Every territory I find, I, I tend to say, is, is going to be at least slightly over face value because you're not supposed, you're not typically supposed to find any of them on in the mainland UK. But also because it's the Isle of Man is a lot, a lot smaller population-wise than the UK, uh, the mintage figures are going to be lower than the ones that we get in the mainland UK as well. Um, so, man, I would keep it. Uh, if, if I lived on the Isle of Man, I would have no money because I would be hoarding it all. What have you got then? I must say, I do love Isle of Man coins. We've got the Lockton Ram, my favourite territory coin. Milner's Tower, another very, very lovely one. 2016. I mean, look, if these were just in your day-to-day -day change, you'd keep them all, wouldn't you? 2018. Oh, this is the Sapphire... Sapphire... Oh, is it Wedding Anniversary or Jubilee? Now I can't think. Um... Oh, this is a, the uh, the World War, First World War. Very cool. Uh, and I think this is the Sapphire... Wait, uh, is it Wedding? What does it say? The things which I have uh, here before promised, I will perform and keep, so help me God. So that's Sapphire Jubilee then, isn't it? Wow. Well, thank you so much for that, Rob, but they are awesome. I absolutely love them. Next up, we've got another one from the Isle of Man. With this cool little... What is it? A common lizard. I'm not sure I'd want them to be common where I live. Mm 
It says, hi Chris, enjoy watching the YouTube channel. I seen uh, you found a Manx Tower of Refuge to Pan Coin. I thought you might like to see a few more and the other viewers. Thanks, Ash. What have we got? Isle of Man Mountain Course. Wow, look at that. Like a, a lanyard, isn't it? That's what they're called, lanyards. Very cool. Oh, it's the TT. Little coaster, how cool is that? <laughs> the little map of the Isle of Man. Amazing. See what I mean? Look at these. I've never seen that one before. 150th anniversary, first house of Keys election. Wow. We've got another locked and ram. How cool is that? I love that coin. I never get tired of finding them. And the little Manx cat. Very cute. But also, a 20 pence. Oh, the Peter Pan. That's a very, they are very cool. A very cool coin set. And I was very lucky. I found the crocodile and a 50p hunt on the live streams. I couldn't believe it. Blew me away. Alaman TT. What is this? This little bird. What year is that? I've not seen that before. 2018. Oh, Lita Lido. That's beautiful. Uh, is that the T? That's a motorbike. Is that the TT? Beautiful. 2019. There's another one there. 40th year. Mike Halewood. Wow. What a stunner. Look at that. I remember Duvetto uh, or Debs, the person who helps has helped me with my designs and um, for the, the the channel icon and the Christmas jumper and all things like that. Um, she found one of these in a change or in a bank run, and I was very very jealous. And I've never seen one since. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much, Ash. That's very very generous of you. Next up, we've got this one. Ah, this is from Grocy Coin Hunts. And he said that this is a video in of itself because it's a little challenge. So, Grossy, I've got your pass. I've got your parcel. I might even save that for a weekend upload, but I won't read it until I do the video. We've got this one here, which has got something in it, something round. <laughs> Pennies. Look at that handwriting, stunning. It says, Christopher Collects. Hi Christopher, I love watching your channel and cannot wait until your next video comes out. You inspired me to uh, create a coin account on Instagram, at coin underscore collector underscore EMC. Uh, I, don't ex I don't accept follow requests of people. I don't know, uh, I, I don't know however. Oh, I see you, you sorry, that's, my, that's me failing to read. So you don't accept follows of people you don't know. I wouldn't mind if you wanted to follow me. It would be a pleasure to accept your request. I've enclosed 25 2,000 pennies and a 2014 Bullwick of Jersey penny, which I'm not sure is worth anything. I've been collecting 50 p's and two pound coins for a couple of months now. I have also attempted to collect 10 p's, but have gotten nowhere. Oh, I know how that feels. They are tough to find. I will enclose a list of all my finds. I hope, uh, I hope to see my collection grow over time. I would really appreciate a letter in return if you wouldn't mind. My address is. Uh, thank you for reading this. Ella, age 13. Wow, well thank you so much for your letter, Ella. And some pennies for the world record. So, for those of you unaware, I am working towards a world record attempt. I'm trying to get the most coins from the same year. And I decided to focus on pennies from the year 2000 because it's the lowest denomination. Um, so it's not going to hurt the bank as much as if I was going to do it all in £2 coins, for instance. Uh, and the year 2000 is the second highest minted year. The, f the most highest minted year being 1971, but I figured... A lot of them would have made their way out of circulation by now, been damaged or whatever, so that's why the year 2000. And if you guys go to the lengths to send me pennies in the year 2000, your name goes on my appreciation board, which you get to see every month. But a massive thank you for them. They are awesome. And the ones for the PA box, we stick into Darth Vader. So let's get, that. Let's get them in there. There we go. That's the first ones for this month, so thank you very much, Ella. And the little jersey one, look at that. 
I must admit, I was so surprised the amount of territories pennies that I found when I started looking through pennies. And I do keep them all, I'm a bit obsessed now. <laughs> They're so cool though, so thank you so much. We've got this one next, I can't show you the front because there is an address on it. It says, Dear Christopher, I sent you some UK coins from various years, also the Silver uh, of uh, silver Battle of Britain and A to Z medal, uh, some paper banknotes, the Polish ones are a bit tatty, and a load of world coins, and some 2,000 pennies for your collection from Robert Roberts. P.S. I've included the BU Battle of Britain 2019. Wow! That's amazing! Holy cannoli, look at all these! That's a Bunk Battle of Britain. In change checker card. Very cool. Look at all these. That's bonkers. There was someone else that very kindly sent a whole bunch of world coins as well. And I, I must admit, I was, I was actually on eBay all of about an hour and a half ago because my bag is running low. I know I've got a whole bunch of coins that have been sent to the PA box to hunt through, but I saw one that looks like it was a real bargain. Um, but it's looking like I'm not going to need to <laughs> this little package of coins and the previous package of coins I got but I look forward very much to going through that and seeing what's in there look how shiny these thruppances are holy cannoli is that actually a silver 50p holy moly you did not have to do that that is pretty mind-bending I'm a bit blown away if this is actually a silver proof you, you shouldn't have done that definitely not that is far far too generous now pennies in the year 2000 <laughs> I am more than grateful to receive we got a little stowaway Oh, it's an Italian. I do like these Italian 200 lira, the um, commemorative ones. They are stunning. Very cool. Well, I will pop these pennies into the pot. So thank you very much for them. But thank you so much, Robert. The these are absolutely exceptional. Uh, I'm very, very grateful for them. Oh, I didn't have a look at these. Let's have a look at these. The, world, the little bag of world coins I will have a hunt through in a future video. Ah. Oh, this is the A to Z collector's medallion. Very cool. I don't have one of them. And then the notes. I've had, a whole, I've had people in the past send me bank notes, which are really, really cool. So I've got my own little stash of a note collection I see what you mean about the Polish ones really being a bit tatty but they're very cool aren't they very colorful what sort of year is this from 1982 holy Toledo very greeny 50s lottie Ooh. very cool Some of these need some ironing. <laughs> do, are you allowed to do that to banknotes? Is that like cleaning coins? You shouldn't do it. Of there's a lot of 20 zlotties. These are all 20 zlotties. These are all 20 zlotties. Wow. And then 100 centi cents francs. Wow. Is that real? How cool is that? Wow, well thank you so much Robert. Next up we've got this one. It says, Dear Christopher Collects, Hi, my name is Matthew and I am 12 years old from Scotland. I have been collecting coins for nearly a year now and enjoy it a lot. When I go hunting, I go with my nanny 
uh, we normally just go to the to local shops and ask for 50 p's in our change that's awesome I bet you have a whale of a time doing that the best coin i found is a wheelchair rugby well don't tell caledonian coins oh no he's found it now hasn't he <laughs> uh, and the best coin my nanny has found is commonwealth Ga games scotland two pound coin that's amazing uh, when i go over to my nanny's house uh, we always watch your videos and enjoy them a lot so i made this picture for you uh, and sent you some world coins keep up the good work from matthew oh wow look at that that's so cool <laughs> holy toledo indeed thank you so much oh, wow indonesia oh barbados i want to be on a beach in barbados in the czech republic Ooh. vanuatu 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 very cool. And the Philippines. Very cool. Wow. Well, thank you very, very much for that, Matthew. I hope you and your nanny find some awesome coins. So we've got a couple more. This is the penultimate letter. Holy Toledo. Look at these pennies from the year 2000. I'm trying to see if there's a name or a note or an address, anything. There we go. I'm stuck in the first envelope. It says to Christopher Collects, good luck with your pennies from Jacob and Brandy's Hodg Hodgkinson. Wow, well thank you both for that. That's awesome. I'll get your names on the board and um, so we get those pennies into the jar. Thank you. And then last, but by no means least, we have this one. I almost missed the note here. It says, to Christopher, here are some one piece to add to your record attempt. I've been searching through coppers for TGBCH. TGBCH. Oh, okay. Uh, so thought I would help you out, and hopefully there will be more coins to come. Uh, also, are a few random stamps, if any are of use to you. Uh, good luck with the 1P record attempt. I'm sure you'll smash it. You were the first YouTuber I ever watched, and I'm now hooked. Uh, in the fact that I follow so many coin tubers, I find it hard to keep up. I know exactly how you feel. That when I started, there was what three UK coin tubers. You had Absolute Coins, UK Coin Hunt, and UK Coin Hunter. My camera cut out there. And well, then now there are so many people doing it. It's awesome, it? but it is tricky trying to watch everyone's videos. So I watch a smattering of everyone's videos. Um, I've collected coins since I was about 12 years old, so almost 10 years now. Wow. Uh, I wish. Uh, <laughs> Um, no, it's a lot of years, but since I've found uh, all, all you coin tubers, I have learned so much about coins, so thank you for your time and effort you put into your channel. Uh, your generosity with giveaways and patience with repeat questions when new people come aboard. Uh, I'm visiting the Royal Mint in January, so maybe I'll see you there one day. Many thanks, Nanny Sue. Well, well thank you so much for your letter. Um, and yeah, I'll be, I, I probably will be going to the Royal Mint in January as a recording this Thursday. Um, or uploading this on a Thursday. I'm going to the Royal Mint on the Saturday. Uh, so I'm on the 1pm tour. I'm going to be getting there a little bit earlier so I can have a chat with you guys that are coming along to say hi. But if you're in the area or planning your trip and you want to come say hi, feel free to do so. Holy Toledo, look at all these pennies. <laughs> Thank you so much for them. I'll get them into the pot and get your name on the board. Look at that one. It's got a little smiley face on it. Very cute.
And then we've got some random stamps as well. So I do collect stamps as well. Wow, we've got some colourful ones here. What on earth is that? World Gurning Championship. Guernsey. Zoom in a little bit. Christmas one. Queen Victoria. These look familiar. These look very familiar actually. Very much like the um, stamps that I put on my um, tokens when I send my tokens out. Look at all these. Aren't they stunning? Oh, there's even more on that page. Holy Toledo. And a whole sheet of these Christmassy, awesome snowmen stamps, amongst others. Well, thank you so much, Nanny Sue. That is awesome. Well then, as ever, a massive thank you to everyone that's gone to the lengths to write me a letter. Oh, your names, for those of you that sent uh, pennies, will be going up on that appreciation board for the world record. Um, again, I'm absolutely blown away. And as I said at the start of the video, I am more than happy just receiving letters from you. It absolutely does make my day um, having these really kind messages, um, these notes, whatever it is that, you, uh, that you're writing the letters. It does warm my heart. So um, thank you very much. Uh, and as ever, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye